Yo, what's up? What's up, Cleo? Another beautiful day in the neighborhood. So listen, we're going to do the continuation of the broken stories. You know, and just I want you to understand the broken stories. But I think it's the broken story, the broken lie, the broken pretend, the broken games. <laughs> it's all about a, a way to gain views, a way to trick the audience and play a bunch of games with them. I get it. That's the master class. But man, we you know the day is a is a day. What I want to start doing is engaging with the audience. The reason why, because you know, my thing is is this ain't just about us, but I, I like their opinion and they engaging with us and what their opinion are and stuff like that. And you know, it's like almost like we engaging with them in the situation and, and, and seeing how they feel about it too. Now the majority of people came to me and they say they feel where I'm coming from. You know, but the thing is, is this. I respect every other reactor and I appreciate them to the fullest because the reactors actually gave me script to do what I'm doing as a reactor. But I do have one problem with reactors, that anything that these people say to them, they run with it and believe that it's true. And the first thing they will say, like Marwa and the uh, and Ivan Tours are no longer friends anymore. I don't believe it. And the reason why, because there's so much lies and so much pretending and so many games that this family had a history of doing from the brothers to the sisters. So many scams, they have scammed people out. I think that the reactors need to sit back for a minute and relax before they make an approach and say that that was the case. Because if that was the case, you know, then in the end, that's just like Davey Jr. They said the same thing with Davey Jr. Keep calling him King Davey, King Davey, King Davey. Now they find out when King David betrayed and show his true colors. Now they see what time it is. So I think they just need to relax a little bit and make sure and stop having that kind of trust in Mark. You know that what what they're saying is really what happened. Well, what, what's your take on that? Yeah, I would like to ask you, King the Traveler. Do you do you think do you think the way you put in it, like you make you making this guy to be genius, right? You making like this family. It's full of intelligent, smartest people because they're outsmarting everyone out there, you know? Um, because you, you're absolutely correct. Like, you know, there's uh, that kind of thing in trying to outsmart because, you know, you're trying to tell them this. They'll never listen to your advice. They'll never listen to you, King the Traveler, your advice. So do you think these guys are really like, because you got to believe this. Well, no, well, no, well, I'm going to tell you, not to say they're genius, and, and, and one of my subscribers said that to me, but it's just a way of mind manipulating. It's, it's seeing where the audience is at with things, and what can we do to get the audience talking more? Because, you know, you got to remember, drama movies are number one movies. So they're creating drama for the audience and pretending to the audience that they're not friends. You see what I'm saying? But at the same time, they really are friends. You feel me? <laughs> You know, Cleo, it's just like this. I even believe when it comes to, let's say, for an example, the presidential election. I don't believe the presidents really got problems with each other like that. I believe they sit behind the table and plot out the next move to tell the audience. That's just how I look at life. You know what I'm saying? It's just so much pretending, so much game, so much manipulation. And I feel that these guys are taking the same approach on the audience. They throw them off. They keep their mind thinking, oh, what's next? Oh, man, look at Ivan Torres put Marwa out. Marwa ain't putting out enough money. And the whole time, it's just a big circle. A big circle of them that's in conglomerates with each other. So if if that is the case, it's like, now, the life of this family, it's not what you think is like an open book. And that's the way, King the Traveler, you put in it. Because... So far, okay, we also don't know your life, you keep the traveler. We don't know if your life is an open book. We don't know if Modesto's life is an open book. We don't know whether Black Beauty TV, AM Caro, On Training, uh, Crooked, all these people, if their lives are open book. And we don't know if uh, your your friend and our box, uh, box what, what's his name again? Oh, Bishop Boxman. Matter of fact, since you say him, man, Bishop Boxman, I'm still praying for you, brother. I ain't gonna lie to you, man. You did it to us again, my brother. 
Man, y'all pray for my pastor, man. I don't care what my pastor say about me. I don't care how my pastor disrespect me. I'm going to still respect him, man. Y'all pray for my pastor that maybe my pastor going through some hard times right now with his woman and his life. Because I know he was supposed to get married to Coco Girl and things ain't work out. <laughs> now he coming against and talking trash, just reacting. So y'all pray for him, man. Pastor Boxman, I hope you get better. Yeah, I just had yeah, to say yeah. that clear on my bed. But, but listen, let me explain something to you. I get what you're saying about the open book. I'm an open book. I'm not hiding nothing. I'm not manipulating nobody. I am who I am. When I speak, but, I speak I speak on how I feel. Nothing is script. Nothing is right. Why you don't talk about it? Right. Why you don't talk anytime you hear King speak, I'm speaking off the dome. Nothing is written down. This is how I feel. So I'm just a type of person, if you was with me right now in my presence, you won't see anything different. No pretending. My energy is always the same. My energy always been the same. That's why I get very upset at people who pretend they're good, they good friends to you, but in reality, they don't like you like that. You know what I'm saying? They, they change up on you. They just use and abuse you in the moment when they can get out you. But when you ask for the same favor in return, or even a piece of favor, they don't even try to give you that favor. Like for an example, like Ma was telling people, he said online, y'all host me for free. If y'all come to my village, I'll host you too. Bro, you a liar, bro. And how I could tell you a liar, because when I come to Africa, I didn't even want a horse from him. All I want him to do is pick up the phone to make sure I was going in a safe place. And he, guess what he did? He didn't even pick up the phone. And I was donating to his channel. Hell, you know what I'm saying? Like being a supporter to him and I couldn't get a phone call. So he's a pathological liar, just like he lied to the audience. He's not going to give the same energy the audience give him. And it's a way of pretending. So the problem that they, you know, just to, let me just point out one thing. You know, my observation is that the person that you're talking about um, from Nyabo Hansi, you know, and, and, the, and the team that's hosting him, uh, mm -hmm. it's, it's a team. I don't understand why, because, like, they're playing each other. Like, I mean... All the people that donate money, all the people that are hosting, all the people that come for the, uh, what you call this, meetup, they're all people with it. I don't know how many subscribers they have. So he works, he works with the people that already have, don't have subscribers, don't have channels. Um, uh, uh, he works with the uh, uh, donors who are very sick in their minds, you know, you know they're not mentally balanced. They have they lack self control. He works with those people, you know, things like that. But it, you know that magic works for him, right? Don't you think so, King the Traveler? Because you never see him commenting in uh back on his channel. I mean, you see a lot of people putting you know like comments and giving him advice, you know. Um, but he will never comment back. What do you have to say about that? Well, no, he have commented back on a few reactors channels. As far as him to comment and commenting back, reactors. I, I feel he only he only don't comment as much, but in reality, he brings no, the comments not. because see what you have to understand, our comments and our reactions make other people start thinking. So when he comment back on our channels, he is getting mad at us because we got other people seeing who he really is. So his comment is more like, you know what, man, these people getting on my last nerve now because my audience is questioning me. My audience now is feeling like I'm a scammer. My audience is approaching me. I can't manipulate them like I used to. They, they messing up my tactics. They messing up my game. It was a time I could have told my audience anything and I had them like puppets on the screen. Whatever I told my audience to do, they did. But now, for some reason, because these reactors keep exposing me, it's put me in a bad situation of mind manipulation. So now I have to be careful the way I introduce, can I get money from y'all? I can't talk about the Afro-Indians no more or anything like that because my because these reactors then crush and let the audience see that the Afro-Indians was, was, a, was a hoax and expose it all through the internet. I hit these reactors. These reactors are exposing me. Oh my God, why did they tell the audience that I stole 7,000 from Jam Tours? Why did they tell them that you I blocked them in all platforms? You have to understand, that's why even the times that he do react to us, because guess what? His audience 
recommendations from YouTube is coming to our channel, and his audience is saying, wait a minute here. Shut me in right. Could Marvel be a hoax? Could Marvel be a bunch of games? What is really yeah. going on with this guy? So now it's getting him upset. How much How much is $7,000 in Kenyan shilling today? Like, oh, as, my as, God. Well, I'm going to tell you like this. I can't remember that. You know what? You know what? Let me tell you how much seven thousand dollars is because Jam yeah, Tours. Pick it up. Yeah, because Jam how... Tours. Let me go to his text and I'm gonna tell you. He told me exactly how much the seven thousand was, and then you then you understand how much the Kenny Chili. Yeah. I had to get it converted too. Yeah, seven. This okay. Is... This is the deal. Seven thousand is man. I tell you this much. With 7,000 American dollars, you could live in Mombasa, and I know this for a fact because I stayed over there. You could stay yeah. in a luxury apartment for up to seven years. Seven years? Seven years paid for. Yeah, yeah. That's crazy right there. How much did, did IMR collect for the in, uh, for, for the Indian you know, people? $10,000. That's how much you put up there for 10000 How much is $10,000 in, in, in Kenyan shilling, uh, King the Traveler? Oh, see that right there. Now, see, that's higher. That you, you could stay there ten years, apartment free. You know what I'm saying? So the money was collected, right? Yeah, the money was collected. But guess what, though? Right. And it's it's two years later, and he's still collecting money. So he was collecting for two years on top of the seven thousand. Hold on, hold on, King the Traveler. You mean he collected the cash for the yeah. kids? That was supposed to be, you know, to be brought to Kenya, but he is busy in America uh, with the plans to travel to South America. I think. Mm -hmm. in, in that plans that he has, does he have a plan to bring the kids to get American visa uh, and, and and to bring the kids, the Indian kids, to Kenya? Is that what he's trying to do? Let, let me tell you something. Speaking on the American visa, man, listen. One of my subscribers came on there. And he said, that is crazy for him. And he said he lost respect for Marwa because Marwa was in America getting a visa in America, like, for other countries. I'm trying to wonder, how is he even doing that if he's not an American citizen? And I, and I know my country is very strict. So that's just something else to think about, too. Like, this guy is in America claiming he getting a... Well, what, you, what you think going on with that? So he has a Kenyan, he has a Kenyan passport, right? Yes. So now he's with uh, he's, he's getting American visa in order to travel to other countries. I don't uh -huh. understand. Like I, I'm, I'm trying to think exactly how things works. Now you have a Kenyan, uh, Kenyan, uh, Kenyan shilling. What the hell am I talking about here? Okay, so he has Kenyan passport. Now he goes to America. He wants American government to give him the, the visa so that he can travel to many other countries. King the Traveler, can you please explain? Because you are in America. No, no, no I'm, I'm going to just tell you the message that I got from the subscriber. Then we're going to go from there. The yes. subscriber told me, a subscriber told me, Fran, France Lauren, man, I appreciate him giving me this message because this made me really think of the scam, how deep this man is scam. He said, he is very deceiving. He is a very deceiving person. The whole visa process story says it all. Because Mara is neither a resident nor a citizen of the U.S., he therefore cannot apply for any other country visa in the U.S., period. He can only apply for visas in his country of origin, period. That is the crock of a big lie. Everything else is also, I am surprised no one here is talking about this. He cannot apply for visas in the United States, period. Come on now. That, listen, that's something that that's now see, that's what I'm talking about. That's weird right there. Well, like, how could he apply for visas? He's not even a US citizen. I, I don't get that. What you feel, so, Cleo? In other words, it sounds as if you know he's just want to uh lie about you know that he's doing that perhaps it's just you know he just wants to you know renew the visa that he once had so that he can travel he can travel like you know to and fro 
whenever he wants to visit America. I think that's the whole picture here, right? That's the true picture. That's my tech. That's my you know, observation. He wants um, to renew his American visa so he can have another five years uh, to and fro to travel whenever he feels like going to America. But the part that is misunderstood and misrepresented by this particular you know, uh, um, uh, 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 individual from Kenya is that uh, this subject, this so-called state case, is that he want, it doesn't make sense. So basically it's misleading people for, for the clickbaits. That's that, that's actually clear, very clear. So it's not telling the truth, like your subscriber has already indicated. Because first of all, uh, um, American government, I can ask, if that is the case, then please American government, keep your men, keep your men. King the Traveler, ask your government to keep your men there, to keep, the man there, the Kenyan man, keep him there. Don't let him, don't let him go. Don't let him go. Okay? Because I don't think he's representing Kenya anymore. He's not representing Kenya. So keep Ayamara in your country. I don't think Kenyan wants him. No, nah, we he, we don't want him. He go back to Kenya too, man. I mean, all them lies and deceiving. He doing to people, man. It's ridiculous, man. Like, his whole thing is lies. I mean, like, you know, I don't know. How long the audience were going to entertain them lies that he is doing, man? But it's like he's deceiving his whole audience on every aspect. Yes, I, I mean, look at the Buddha call. Hey, Buddha call, hey, come over here, Blondie. What you going to do? This is what you're going to do. I'm going to pay you. So you're going to pretend you're my girlfriend. I'm fetching you, you know, from wherever. Then when you come, this is how you're going to act. You can get paid. Don't worry. You know, so can tell me more, uh, King of the Travel. How much do you know about you know the blondie, the the Polish uh, girl that came to visit? Where is she now? Because your audience is asking that. Where is this guy? Where is this girl? Where is the girl? What happened? Was that a scripted? I believe that was a scripted King of the Traveler. Hey, listen, you let me tell you something. You took the words of my mouth. I, I believe that was scripted too. Uh, that could have been a model they paid or something. I'm going to be honest with you, Cleo. I'm to the point. When it comes to Marwa and his whole family, like, you ever heard the saying, they say you innocent until proven guilty. In their case, I feel they they're guilty until proven innocent. And the reason why I say that, let me repeat that. Not innocent until proven guilty, but guilty until proven innocent. And the reason why I feel like that, because they're guilty of the lies. And I feel in my heart that everything they say is a game. It's a mind manipulation when it comes to the female. You know what I'm saying? You have to show me her ticket. Even though they might have met at the airport, that don't mean nothing. I'm not saying that it wasn't what they say it was, but I just don't believe them. Because they have lied so much, Cleo. How am I supposed to believe all these lies? And how are you supposed to know ex the exact truth? Yeah, you know, and, and you know, it's just, oh, man. So don't say, I'm, I'm just begging the people out there, guys, please. You know, don't say reactors are attacking the family and the state case uh, person, the subject, the subject. Nobody's attacking anybody. Ayamara and his family are scripting everything. The whole family scripts everything because Amara has trained them, you know. That only I, the game I can't do say that. Watch this. Guess what one of my guess what one of my subscribers say? Mind my memory Remy. Let me tell you what he, what, what the subscriber said. You that called it and it was the real deal. But that's Marwa and his family, anything for big deals, souls for sale. And then he continues saying, and Ivan ain't so innocent. He now learned the ropes to do YouTube and gain some views for him. And Ivan does not just shoot his mouth off of Marvin wins every time around. So basically, what this subscriber is saying that Marwa has pretty much gave Ivan the game. So all of them playing a game of manipulation, a bunch of games. Mm -hmm. Because, you know, in my house here, yeah? I have the cameras, okay. I can use my I can use my phone to I can go to any country. I can use the access 
my cameras on my mobile phone. So what I'm trying to say is the guy, what's his name? Mm, the Haitian, Haitian, the Haitian guy, Haitian or from Cameroon, you know, Cameroon or Haitian. We don't know because the whole thing is just uh, weird. But if he was living and his uncle dies, there's no reason of kicking him out, kicking his friend out. It's just to go. They have good cameras in the house. He can use his mobile. He can set up the ground rules. Set the ground rules. Yes. Then if you go back to your country, Cameroon or Haiti, you can access the cameras from your phone, mobile phone, to check what he's doing. And you can always speak on them. I have a, I, I, okay, I'll bring it just now. I'll bring it after this. I'll bring my camera. You can speak on your phone to say, hey, Amara, my brother, I told you not to open the door. How you mean? Right? I got him in my house. What you saying? You ain't telling me nothing new. And you, let me tell you something, Cleo. I'm in America. I got, man, listen. I listen, I could talk to people. Matter of fact, when I be out the country, I could talk to them in, in the U.S. I could be like, I could talk to them in my house or whatever. Yo, well, how's everything going? I see, yo, what's good? With you no can, problem. You can, thief, you can tell the thief, you know, like, get out of there. You can speak to your family. Hey, guys, I see you're playing there. I see what you're doing there. What, what's Preach. that kid doing? You can access the, your bedroom. You can access your kitchen. You can access your 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 dining room. You can access even if the cameras are outside, even if by the door. My door has a camera. My, my, my door handle is a camera. You know, if somebody comes there, immediately I will receive a message in my phone. There's a somebody there, and I can just say, "Uh, oh, I'm not here." You know, but I mean, I mean, I can tell the person that if, that is standing by the door that I am not here. Uh, I'm out of here. Please just leave it. Whatever you brought, just leave it there. I'll find Please. it. I want to say this to you. I appreciate you bringing that up. That is so powerful. Let me tell you why. Because in the reality, why couldn't Ma was stay in that house? Because the pride was just a rental anyway. An Airbnb that they rent. Another part of the script. Another part of the game. Maybe somebody else need to rent it, so they had to leave. So they come with a soft we to come with a, another approach to run game, but listen. And that Cleo, we got we got we got to give we got to give Calvin Ad Muchacha, you know what I'm saying? Um, a definitely a big shout out. And this is the thing, I hope I say the name right, but I haven't. But let me tell you, she gave you a big shout out. She said, Cleo Bonnie, you are spot on your analyst of Mara. The Kenyan passport ranks 139th in the world as of March 2023, according to the visa. Guide passport index. This means that Kenya citizens can travel visa freely to 42 countries in the world. However, to enter the remaining countries, Kenyan passport holders must apply for a visa beforehand. As of March 2023, Kenyan passport holders can travel visa free to 42 countries and territories. And she named all the different places, man. Let me tell you why I got to give her much respect because Caverne is a very smart individual that knows what's going on. Yeah. And, and listen, we need people like that to enlighten us too because, listen, I'm kind of screaming my language. All the extra stuff like learning and understanding how this stuff works, we need people like that to enlighten me to understand because as I'm approaching this, I'm only approaching this with the the, the, the tactic of how these street people use these mind manipulation to get over on the people. But it's people like her that comes with the, listen, what you're saying is spot on because y'all did the mathematics. So now this goes to show you that guess what? It's another lie with Ma with him. What do you say about that message? Uh, I think, you know, your, your, your subscriber is really telling you the truth because uh, uh, that's 70, she's right. Because that's 72 countries that, you know, passport uh, from Kenya can travel to. You know, in these countries that can actually give you from Antigua, Barbados, Benin, Bolivia, Burkina Faso, all these, Dominican Republic, you can go to Grenada, Ghana, you can go to South Africa, Jamaica, you can go all these other, you know, Caribbean countries, Mauritius, you can go to Mozambique, Namibia, all these countries, Philippines, you can go there with these. Uh, it does not need to apply for, for, for visa. You can go to Seychelles, you can go to Singapore, 
And that's why Dim Wango went to Singapore because she didn't need, I think, to apply for visa. That's what, because she's using that passport. You know, uh, she can, they can go to Tanzania, they can go to Trinidad, they can go to so many countries. So to say that, you know, uh, to undermine his own country, uh, uh, a government emblem, you know, of the, you know, um, you undermining the flag of Kenya to say the Kenyan passport is not powerful. I think that's under undermining your president. You are stripping your president naked. You are taking his clothes, and we can see his underwear. You are basically stripping everybody in Kenya's uh, 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 as, as as less intellect, lazy people. You are telling us that Kenya has got lazy people. It's got a corrupt mm. government. You are telling us that actually Kenya has got. Uh, less intellect. Every Kenyan has got less intellect. The people in government, they got less intellect. And that's why you can leave your country and then you can go to another country. You say you can't have a baby in your country. You said your country, the uh, passport, you cannot travel to other countries. There are more than seven, actually there are more than 72. You know, they may not be listed. There should be more than 72 countries that actually can travel with um, Kenyan passport that you don't need a lot of things. You don't need a lot of things to do in order to apply for visa and stuff. Like that. You don't need to apply for visa. So he has basically taken the clothes of his president. He has uh, dissected and, and sliced his passport, the emblem, coat of arms of the government. He has shredded the flag of Kenya. He has undermined the rich Kenyans, you know, the wealthy people that are living in America. I mean, they are there. Billionaires, the Kenyan billionaires don't live in Kenya. They live in America. They live like in this kind of white house, you know, uh, houses, big buildings, you know, things like that. And then they've got taking the money from Kenyan Kenyans and then they build their wealthy and then they keep their wealthy in other countries. And their children uh, go to school in other countries. They buy clothes in the other countries. You know, they travel to other countries. They live in other countries and they take all the Kenyan monies. This is what IMR is doing, is saying it's exactly what we can see what is going on in Kenya. So for starters, you know, IMR is not the only one. IMR's family is not the only one that's doing this. The billionaire, the Kenyan billionaires have done this. And actually, IMR gives us the window. Okay? He opens the window. All right? While the billionaire Kenyans, the president, the government is trying to shut us, we shouldn't see. You know? While the government is collecting money, then people like IMR maybe cannot collect money. You know? So these tricks that are happening here, it's exactly, it's the backbone or it's the spinal cord. It's uh, the whole intelligence things that these people have actually embraced, you know, over the years. And he's just continuing that. So basically that's the flag is what? Useless? Is Kenyan flag useless? Are you saying, you know, people from Kenya uh, as the way you portray them? Are you, you, why? So nobody wants to market Kenya. All right, right now. So everybody should leave Kenya because that's what is inspiring the mm. Kenyans. He's inspiring Kenyans. He's telling every Kenyan right now, get your passport. I spoke to a couple of Kenyans recently and they told me they just want to leave. They just want to go. And they just want to go to America and uh, study there and get a study visa. After getting a study visa, after get, getting to America, they'll look for jobs and they'll drop their student visa. You know? So... Cleo, Cleo, let me tell you something. That's that's very smart. I appreciate that knowledge you gave me. Uh, um, I, I'm going to be honest. That's that's very, that's a great message, right? And then listen, listen to me, though. I, I got to shift the subject for a minute because this is what I'm talking about. Man, I just got a message from one of my subscribers, a bitch, right? Listen what, what's it, what he said. KOT at Muyungo video came on randomly while music was playing and I have builders in my home renovating my bathroom and kitchen. And one of the guys who was listening to him came in front of the TV and go. Who is that guy who is asking people to donate and support to him every two minutes? Imagine how that sounded to a new set of ears shaking my head. Funny, not funny, but it sounds weird for people who get up and work day in and day out. Scamming is not even 
and their psyche. That, it threw them off totally. That threw them off. I imagine if they seen Mara in action, some of us don't know this scamming, thieving, manipulating, cheating, lying, greedy, power, mongering. People exist and is getting away with this on a public. Yo, King of the Chocolate, unsuspecting you... yeah. subscribers and paying the price. But then again, and refuse to be critical thinker is a disease by itself. Do you hear that? Every mm -hmm. two minutes asking for money. Every two minutes. We in America busting our behind every day to go to work. To make a dollar. What kind of disease these people got, man, that every two minutes like it's dirty and it's grimy and it's slimy. Listen, man, I need y'all subscribers to get on the ground with us reactors, man. I need y'all to stop letting them know that this is getting out of hand. We work too hard for our money. We do too much for people to treat us that type of way. You feel me? You know what I, I mean, Cleo? That's ridiculous. All they doing, like, bro, like, like, you don't understand. If right now, let me tell you something. They say the money, currency change, and all kind of stuff. America ain't in the best of condition in the world right now. I got to speak up for my country. Inflation, this getting high. This getting high. You feel me? Mm. You know what I'm saying? So my thing, it's like, man, you know what I mean? It's it's like uh, it's just it's just not fair. You feel me? To to a lot of people, and they acting like it's a joke. They're taking these people like, and then at the end of the day, they don't care nothing about these subscribers. They're lying and pretending. Oh my God, this is this got to be a serious disease. Hey yo, don't mm -hmm. worry about it. The church has robbed the poor people. Roman Catholic builds the beautiful church in the world, the biggest in a high dome. Seventh-day Adventists to build the churches of 15. I mean, uh, uh, Seventh-day has got 15 billion or 20 billion US dollars. You know, I was even surprised when Debbie wanted to ask for donors to donate when the church of Adventist church has got 17 to 17, 15 to 17 billion dollars. They can build anything anytime. Now, I'll tell you something. Over the years, you will always find weak people. You will always find your audience. You can always create community. So you are asking questions why your, 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 your subscriber asks questions why these people still donate. Because the beggars use manipulation. They use mental issues. You know, the pastor will tell you that if you die today, please donate your house. Donate your car right now if you want to get a job, you know? So that's what happens. So people hand themselves to the what? To the criminals. People hand themselves to mafias. It has happened for many, many years. How, how did Africa, you know, hand them itself to Americans and, and bow down? So don't worry about Ayamara and his family try to beg money and these people are prone to this because it's still happening. It's because optimization. You optimize. A beggar optimize. A beggar looks at the, 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 the weaknesses. And the beggar comes there and knows how to tell you how to pay, how to give you money where you don't feel the pinch. And most of these people that are giving the money, they have, as I said to you, Maybe they'd rather donate money. Maybe they have a plans that life is over. These people are not rich people that are donating money. They are very poor. They're giving the money of hard earned money because they, they're also manipulator. They think if they give donate money to this family, they think that God will listen to them. That's what that's that's the whole idea. They think some spirit is something will change in their lives. You know, their dreams will come true if they donate money. They will heal if they give money. So that's what happens. You know, people always have a conviction. People always have a guilty conscience. So they will give something to somebody because they have a guilty conscience. The man, a professional man walks out of his house. He sees a beggar he sees every day. And this beggar doesn't go to work. And this man always has got $2, $1. He thinks his last dollar will help him to get his promotion, to get a job. 
a man who is looking for a job with the CVs in his in his pockets, in his bag, he'll give donation to a guy. A person who can get his passport for such a long time, the dreams are not coming through, his applications are not coming through, he will give the money so that his dreams will come true. So it's not like... So hold up. So he's thinking that if he give Marvel money, he's supposed to get some kind of gift back? <laughs> like... Mm. So, so they're thinking if they, it's just like the prophet, the so-called prophet at the church that say, if, if you don't need this money, the Holy Ghost say he's going to get a car, he's going to get a mm -hmm. house. I'm going to tell mm -hmm. you something. Matter of fact, a, a pastor yeah. said that to my homeboy, he told me something. If he don't need this $500, that his gal was going to get him off of child support. Let me tell you something. I told him, you must be crazy, boy. You want child support to that till that kid get 18, you can hang it up. It ain't happening, Captain. You could date that. A woman putting you or take you off a of child support and you ain't with her, you may as well wait till you're 18 years old. But let me tell you another story. Yeah. He came off and tell another guy that he was about to get a, he was going to get this big house and a big car. He already had a big house and car. Oh, man, keep it going, man. It's these lies yeah. and games, man. Yeah, that's, that's, that's what happens. I mean... I can tell you, why do you think a person can donate the money to a poor kid, hungry kid, and not give it to Ayamara's family or Ayamara? Why do you think so? Why do you think somebody can subscribe to Ayamara and not subscribe to Fellow the Boy? Why do you think so? Why would they give it? Because this is a community, it's sick. It's a community that has the same emotions. That's why I say, I say to you, what they do, these guys, they just open, they just what? Optimize. They just optimize the begging. And they, they play with this mental thing, emotional thing. It's how to manipulate. It's like, a, I told you yesterday, it's like a 10 ways to manipulate people, uh, people's emotions. 10 ways to manipulate these mental ways, you know, uh, to manipulate people. These things are happening all over the world. It's happening. Uh, every country in Central Africa, um, you know, Africa, I mean, uh, in Africa, in Africa, Central America, in Asia, poor countries, they're manipulating American countries, uh, America, they're manipulating, you know, emotionally, the European countries, the Swedish government, the Danish government, the Norway government, the American, you know, this, they're manipulating them to give them money, you know. Like I told you, the disaster is coming and they let the disaster to happen. I mean, there are satellites these days. You can see the cyclone before 10 days, before one month, before you can see the cyclone is coming. They let it happen so that it happens. Then the countries will come and donate money and that money will share, will be shared, will be donated, billions and billions will be gone to that cyclone victims. And those people are already dead, my brother. So what's happening with the, this guy is doing the same thing. He's letting the situation to get worse. Actually, he's making it to get worse. That's why I said, don't say reactors are attacking these people. They're not attacking these people. These people are scripting attack uh, 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 titles. Attack me so that people can hear more about me. Don't talk about what am I. People are going to talk about me. I'm going to check. There's a timeline. He has got a timeline. I did this. It worked. I did this. It worked. I said this. It worked. Reactors are reacted and people go there. That's what I'm saying. Why would somebody subscribe to you, to your channel, and not subscribe to Ayamara? It's the same thing of the donation. You know, why people would watch his channel and say, oh, wow, you are so wise. So why is, I mean, really, the people who are not sleeping, the scientists, who are, the Kenyan scientists who are not sleeping every day and they don't have money, you know, the people that are, uh, have organizations, non-government organizations in Kenya that are not even sleeping, they can't sleep, people are knocking at their door. We need food. The only thing we need is food, is food, you know. There are people that are working so hard, you know, that you guys can pay attention to. But the question is, why do you think people can give money to a beggar who is there, who's in a country? Why would somebody give money to a, to a beggar in America? Why would what, why not give it to somebody in Africa or in Central, in Central Asia or somewhere there? Why? So there are always reasons why people do this. There's kind of setting there. There's a kind of a community there. You know, so there is a problem. No rich person is gonna donate to to what Ayamara or Ayamara's family. Not rich person, not healthy person is gonna do that. 
Not probably a lot of people who watch this. I mean, a lot of my friends I try to in the past when I used to tell people, oh, please subscribe to this guy. You know, his guys, this guy's videos are good. I make them watch, they go like, no, 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 no. Most people from Pakistan, from whatever my friends that I spoke to, okay, I said, subscribe to AMR. They said, hell no. What's he talking about? They can't listen to him because they can see the picture. But the people now that are subscribing to AMR and his family, they have one thing going, you know, or one thing coming. You know, so you have to understand that the community, it, it, there is no why would somebody give money to a beggar who is already rich, parking the car, they are the parking lot and he begs, but the person that is in the rural areas will not get th th that kind of thing. So that's how it works. So this is how these people are able to do this. And you guys, you don't want to call it scamming. You're saying he's not a scammer. He's just making mistakes. How many mistakes a human being can make uh, King of the Traveler? Tell me, how many mistakes can uh, uh, this family do? Because I've been told, uh, no, not like I've been told. I saw it somewhere in, in, in your channel, right? Somebody said, mm -hmm. no, this person, uh, IMR is not a scammer. He is just a person who's making mistakes. He has made mistakes. How many times can you make a mistake? Really, yeah. like how many times can you make a mistake? Can you make a mistake? He's a study, he went, he went to university. So he is actually a person, he's an authority to set morals. But you don't need to make a mistake. If you're flying, king of the travel, if you're flying the plane and you make the first mistake, you're going to crash the whole plane. Actually, mm -hmm. you're going to crash the plane, you're going to crash the plane before the plane takes off. You already crashed it. You already killed the people. So I came to travel. I'm going to ask you this question. One of the uh, your, your, your comments there says uh, that he's not a scammer. He is just uh, a guy who's making mistakes. How do you answer that question? Say so he's not a scammer. He's just making mistakes. Yeah. That's what that question, that, that right there is a mistake by their self for saying what they're saying. Because nobody keep making a mistake, repeating themselves in life, life of insanity. You know, the problem is with people, like, stop giving people so much leeway. The only mistake I can say that has happened, Marwa started the scamming, started the lying. He lied so much that it became aware of his life. That's not my fault. Because he yeah. had a scamming mentality, a scamming personality. So mm -hmm. I don't believe none of that stuff. He just make mistakes. How many mistakes he going to make? Huh, Cleo? The only mistake people, the only mistake that's happening is the mistake that the people is continuing to contribute money to a family that's playing them for fools. That's all. Yeah, but that's that's the thing, you know, people, we, the thing is, remember, people have a forgetful, for, forgetfulness uh, disease. They forget so fast. They forget so fast so that you, you cannot remember what he did the first time. So I guess the person that said those words is the person who forgotten or doesn't watch these videos or doesn't watch his videos or never watched you know, many of his videos. They, I mean, there are always new subscribers every day. There are always new view, viewers every day, new audience every day. So if you come, you don't know, you've never watched. We have watched IMR from way, way, way back. We've seen these people growing, the founders, and they all these, what am I, with the founders, and we saw them growing, we supported them, we were proud of them, you know, so we, there's no intention, somebody would say that a reactor is attacking uh, these people, it's not the case, it's not true, we, 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 once, we were once people that were proud, even yourself, King the Traveler. It's amazing that you met this guy. I mean, most of the reactors maybe have never met, you know, Ayamara. You met Ayamara. There's even a video of you in Ayamara. I think people should go and check it out. Huh? <laughs> you met this guy, yeah? right? Yeah, so, yeah, yeah. Yeah, in Colombia. So, they need to check me out in Colombia. Yeah, yeah. yeah well, listen, so let me tell you, he showed me for meeting him. I thought he was a humble guy till he got back to Africa. It was all fake, man. It was all pretending. I'm hip to him now. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. So, you you know, what did you see in him the first time when you saw him? Uh, look, I mean, because you can see his clothes when he wears the clothes. Because it's, it's not it's not stupid, right? But 
he he wears the clothes with the purpose. He says something with the purpose. He will never say anything without purpose, right? Because as I said to you, he has a, an acronym in, in, in his hand, you know, somewhere in his head. He knows I'm going to say this. I'm going to say this. Then he says, I don't plan my videos, that random videos, you know, but uh, that's not the truth of the matter. When you saw him and the way he was dressed and the way he was speaking to you, what did you, what was your take on him? You know what? Now that you bring this up to me, I'm going to tell you how I feel. Mm. I always wonder why he keep wearing them clothes that he he wear. Now that you made it clear to me, he probably trying to pretend like he really ain't got much going on. It's all yeah. of, you know, it's like this all the clothes I got and and when he's stacking money on the low, so he might be pretending to look poor. That's why mm -hmm. he continued to wear them raggy boots. He was a year. That's how I'm getting out of it too. <laughs> you know, I uh uh, I watched him, most of his videos, actually, you know, uh, and uh, I saw way back, I think, when he, he was buying glasses, uh, these glasses, these glasses were for cycling, you know, when you're on a bike. And then he says, you know, I'm actually wearing these glasses, actually. I, I think he said something like it's for the clickbait, you know, obviously you can't wear. He knows when he buys something that looks different, you know, when he wears clothes that looks like he's a clown. I mean, that's what a clown is, entertainer does, right? But also is manipulating others. That's the whole idea. I mean, how if you're gonna perform something, are you gonna so what he does, everything is scripted. He said so that I'm buying these glasses because I want people to look at me, right? I want the people to watch my videos, you know. So don't look at this guy as a different. What can he wear like a, what can he dress like and everybody else? You know. So they continue to put that front on like that poor African village boy, baby. That's probably what it is. It's about people should not get it twisted. It's about a thumbnail. It's about the title. It's about what you're talking about. It's about how you're changing the subject. He changes the subject like every minute, two minutes, three minutes. Then he uses your comment when you try to give him advice, right? He uses that, but he does that. You are giving him instructions, actually. When he say, I'm all right, don't do this. Don't do this, bro. In America, you don't do this. He does exactly what you're saying. He shouldn't. So you are giving him a title. You know, the next time you're like, oh, if people don't like this, wow, this can be marketing. You know, that's what happens. Let me tell, let me, let me give you an idea. In China, they did something that was of a racist. You know, they had an advert whereby the, a black man jumps falls into is forced into the washing machine then it comes out as what as chinese that's basically they knew exactly why they did this advert because they knew that if they do that advert it's going to be controversial and people are going to talk about it and as a result your reactor is going to talk about it and you guys going to everybody else is going to you guys your marketing like we're doing like this okay oh, the black man goes how can these guys do this how can you undermine black people? How can you, a black man jumps into the washing machine and comes out Chinese in China as an advert. And when you start talking about all these things and that's when people get to know the product. And this is exactly what um, Ara does. When you give him advice, he goes like, oh, people, if he, he sees, he actually does auditing. He's a guy who has done statistics, right? He's using that skill. He goes to all the comments and he sees like 80% is against this. They say, I should not do this. And then he takes that as a one topic. And there you go. Bang. He has done it. Oh, why did he do this? I am again at it. You know? What the reactor says, and he does that. So this is what the product. This is how he does it. This, this, that's why he thinks, look, man, let me tell you something. Even though your comment, the person who commented said that this guy, we are giving we are giving too much credit to this guy. You know, the intelligence people like in Pentagon. I said, yeah, the smartest people are people in, are, are, are scammers. That's why people can get into Pentagon. That they, they some of the check on the online there. Some Kenyans stole the money from the Federal Bureau, whatever. They stole the money using the internet. A, a mere person who who is from Kenya. And you say that, okay, because of the Pentagon, CIA, uh, FBI cannot detect this. These guys are smarter. That's what I'm trying to say. But this is what he thinks is going to outsmart you, Black Beauty, TV, Modesta, AM Caro, On Trending, What's Trending, uh, uh, Crooked. All these people 
he thinks he's gonna outsmart them because he's a scammers are always smart. So it's like we have to Cleo. give him credit. That's not true. That's not uh, true. That's why we're here. Cleo, definitely a powerful message, Cleo. We will continue this on the next show, but I appreciate that. I'm going to catch you later. Peace. Amen. Peace. It's the King of Trouble Talk Show with real experience, with real culture, and people across the world. Let's travel. Welcome to Africa, man. You know what I'm saying? Over here in the village with the kids. You know how we do it, man. Africa, you know, so this is the real deal. Welcome to Africa. You know what I'm saying? Just doing a little tour with the king of travel, man. We, we just making it do what it do. You know what I mean? That's word.